Hi everybody, this is Brian James from Rhino3D.com. In this video, I'll be showing you a bit about Grasshopper in Rhino 6 for Mac. To open up Grasshopper, use the Grasshopper command. This will open up the Grasshopper canvas. The first thing you'll see are some getting started files. These boxes will represent recently used files, and if you've never opened Grasshopper before, you'll have getting started files. In these tabs, you'll find a series of components. The components can be clicked and dropped or dragged to the canvas. The canvas can be navigated just like a top, front, or right view in Rhino. When the Grasshopper canvas is active, you'll have a Grasshopper display drop-down menu. Here you can draw the icons in the center of the components, and you can also draw the full names of the inputs and outputs, which are represented on the left and right side of each component. Let me show you a quick example of something that would be tedious to model by hand, but is relatively simple if set up in Grasshopper. I'll start with a number slider, switch it to whole numbers, and set it to use a maximum value of 25, and a minimum value of 2. I'll use these to control the extents of my square grid of points. At the center of each one of the points that outputs from the square grid component, I'll place a circle. Next, I'll measure the distance from each point in the grid to a curve that I'll draw directly in Rhino. I'll use the curve closest point component to analyze the distance from every point in the grid to that curve. These values will be far too large for our circles. So I'm going to remap them into a new domain or minimum and maximum value. I can construct that domain using default number sliders. I'll make the start of the domain or smallest possible circle 0.1 and the largest possible circle or end of the domain 0.45. I then need to reference the current minimum and maximum value as found from our distances. Now I can remap those numbers using that source domain. I'll go back and hide the preview for my grid and closest point. And now you can see we have a grid of circles whose radius value changes based on their proximity to a referenced curve. Editing the curve updates the result of the grasshopper file. These circles can't be selected, however, in the Rhino viewport yet. In order to make them regular Rhino geometry, we need to bake them out. You can do this by right-clicking the output of the circle component and choosing Bake. Now these circles exist as a first concept. The definition itself or grasshopper file can continue to be edited to make additional versions. And that's a quick introduction to using Grasshopper in Rhino 6 for Mac.